Well, here I am on Lake Walloon in northern Michigan. On vacation with the family, got some beautiful weather. It's a great break from fitness. I'm not lifting any weights this week, but I'm still doing a lot of steps, trying to get sleep in. Let's look at my last week and see how it went. Open them up Google Sheets. Only hit my bedtime three times last week, but I hit my wake up time. Only did three cold plunges, 12,000 steps, uh, 100,000 steps. Yep, I got 100, almost 120,000 steps. Did my three workouts, got my zone one, zone two. Did not get my hit session and did, only did two mobilities. So for this week on vacation, I'm on Eastern time, so I've moved my bedtime out to 11.30. 7.30 wake up time, I'm not doing any cold plunges, still hitting 12,000 steps a day, pretty close to 20,000 steps a day. Gonna hit 100,000 for the week, no workouts. So this is the deload week for me. And that's what I like to do as I plan my non-lifting weeks for vacations. Not doing any zone one. I'm getting a few zone ones, but I'm not hitting any targets. I'm not doing any zone two or hit, but I am doing my mobility. So that's in a nutshell. Vacations are meant to be relaxing. I'm still eating a lot of protein, fruits and veggies at every meal, but I'm giving my body a chance to really recover and just enjoy myself. So. Not throwing everything out the window. I'm having desserts here and there, but nothing crazy. Um, and the biggest thing is after vacation, you get back home, get back into the routine, start lifting weights again. Too many people go on vacation. They have such a hard time when they get back. They never get back on a you know, healthy eating routine, sleep routine, training routine. So that's the biggest thing I can say is get back at it once you get home. Again, from Lake Walloon in Northern Michigan, signing off.